Oh no, I have some funky thing on here. Oh, I wonder how to take it off. Hey guys. Okay. Hey Megan. Hey Chris. Can you guys let me know if is everything okay? There was something funky on here. Like I clicked something I shouldn't have. Like, am, is it normal now? Okay. We're going to make a card. Who, who was hanging out with me while I was doing my retired stuff? Who, that was a lot. Okay, is this better? The focus is off. Okay. I know you guys have a little bit of a glare on the product, but when we start making stuff, you won't have that glare. Okay, perfect. Okay. So when this is going to be a, a quick stamp project. <laughs> Hi, everybody again. Thanks for coming back, you guys. I'm not even sure how this is going to turn out because... I w am not prepared. I didn't think that was going to take that long. And then I was going to have time to be prepared. And I'm not. So we're just going to wing it. Okay. I'm going to use this stamp set here. But I'm just using the um, sentiment. Because I want to try something. And then I'm doing something really way outside my comfort zone. And this is going to be our color combo. Old Olive. Poppy Parade and Flirty Flamingo. Say what? Like, I don't even know, you guys. I don't, I'm not even sure about this. Um, but I want to use this Old Olive Twine, okay? So I had this idea that came to me when I was trying to go to sleep last night. And I was like, let's try it. So the first thing I'm doing, I have nothing prepped for you guys. So we'll just have to do it together. The first thing I'm doing is grabbing a piece of Whisper White cardstock. We're going to cut that in half at four and a quarter. Okay, that's going to be our card base. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this at five and a quarter by four. It's going to be a layer. By four. Okay, and then we're going to have to emboss this piece after we do our stamping. So what I want to do is grab a, and I don't even know if this is going to work. Okay, let's grab this piece. Let's not be wasteful. We don't need a new piece for this. Okay. So this is a Whisper White piece, and it's five and a quarter by four. So it's going to fit on top of this piece. Then I have stitched circles. And we're going to stamp on that. Okay, so let's open this up. We have Flirty Flamingo. We have Old Olive. And we have Poppy Parade, which I think might be the weirdest color combo ever. Let me show you where I got this color combo from. I knew I wanted to use Old Olive because I want to use this Old mm -hmm. Olive twine because I bought like a thousand of them and it's retiring. I want to get rid of it. I want to use it. So remember last year, did I show you guys this? I made this last year when our color, um, when our colors all changed. And all it is, it's a little swatch book. These came from Stampin' Up, these little cards. And what I did is I just took some Project Life pockets. How gorgeous is this color together right here? Like these two. Like, oh, doesn't it just make you want to sing? Um, so I just took these and I put them in this book and I made it. Oh, look, I need to punch that one. And so this is all of our colors. Hey, Raquel. Hey, your project for Simply Sweet Stampers. I don't have it yet and I need it. <laughs> I've been meaning to email you or message you. I'm so glad you popped on here. Um, so I just have this. So what I did is I knew I wanted to watch, watch, whoa. I knew I wanted to use Old Olive. So I just found Old Olive in here. And what is that in? Is that in Regals? I don't even know. Okay, so I found the old olive card. 
right here. And I was like, what can I do for a color combo? And this right here, Old Olive, Flirty Flamingo, Poppy Parade. So far outside my comfort zone, I can't even tell you. Like, miles and miles outside my comfort zone. But I thought, let's try it. Maybe it'll work for this idea. Maybe it won't. Okay, so I have my inks out. And then I also have my sponge daubers. So recently I replaced a lot of my sponge daubers. I keep them in a wood mount case that I purchased. I purchased this on Etsy. So it has this um, acrylic um, divider inside, but it's just one of our boxes. And um, when you purchase it, I don't know who did it, you guys. I'm not sure. Um, I could probably find it, but you purchase it and you purchase the daubers come in it and then the box. And then what I like is it seals it and it's, um, I think we still have them available Raquel, but I'm not sure where on the website. Um, I downloaded mine and saved them. So I have access to them, but I don't know about if Stampin' Up still has them up. So I just recently bought new sponge daubers. Um, and I cleaned out a lot of my ones that were getting pretty bad. So let's see. Yeah, I need three new ones. Okay, so we're gonna use three brand new ones. And I try to label mine and keep them. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I really, I don't, I'm so, I so don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, so we have our piece of cardstock here. This is gonna be super simple. So we're gonna use this as a circle. So I'm going to get these really inky. And we're going to use this as a circle to do some stamping. And you could just use a circle if you wanted. Okay, so let's dive in and do this. Okay, so we're going to start here. You guys need to be able to see this more. Okay. So we're gonna do this here, and we're gonna start off the cardstock. And what I'm doing is I'm just pressing down, like straight down. And lifting it up. Now I'm gonna there it looks like a little bit of a texture when you stamp it this way because the sponge dauber has a little bit of texture to it. So the fun thing is, is you get this really fun look. Okay, so I did four in that color. So now this is Poppy Parade. So we'll come in. And we'll add this color. And I just want these circles. Ooh, my mom is making my kids clean up their room. <laughs> my mom's here for the weekend and um, she's got them up there cleaning their room. <laughs> uh, don't you just love that? Okay. So I'm not sure about this color combo, you guys. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know where else to add this. I feel like some more old olive Could go right here and I feel like so now we'll just oh but poppy parade is right there see that's the problem when you only have three colors because then colors get by each other which I guess that's fine but you know when you're trying to space things out so, so far, this is coming out how I was thinking. So, so far, so good. Do one more poppy parade here. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop. Yeah, yay, Grandma is right. I'm ecstatic about the situation. Okay. Well, in fairness, it's a beautiful day here, and they were told they could either go outside and play or they could clean their room, but they could not be on any devices. No screen time today. So, in fairness, 
Okay, so we're gonna we're going to um now do something fun. Okay, so I'm gonna need Poppy Parade. So now let's grab our big shot. grab all this stuff and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay. Grab our big shot. <laughs> Out of your comfort zone is looking good. I hope so. So now here's the part that I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's like, are you ever laying in bed and you're thinking about, you know, I was thinking about needing to do a live today and what I can do. And I like had this thought and I was like, I wonder if that would work. Okay, but I didn't have a color combo. I just kind of had the thought of the card design. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is use the subtle embossing folder, which I'm ecstatic to see has carried over into the new catalog because you guys know I use this a ton. Is that on the inside of the folder? No. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and emboss this. <laughs> yeah. in fairness I was trying to get them to do it all week but you know I'm just the mom grandma will lay down the law and the girls have kind of been cleaning their room it just isn't the greatest okay oh my word you guys it's working Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? Can you guys see this on camera? Like how beautiful this is? And I love that the sponge daubers like left this kind of like textured kind of color in there. I am loving it. Okay. So now because you guys know I just can't quit. I always have to do more. Let's grab our Wink of Stella. Is this my new one? I need like a little platform here. Oh, this one's an old one. Do I have a new one out? That one's empty. This one might be better. Nope, this one is kind of empty too. I might need a new Wink of Stella. Okay, these are both empty. What is happening, people? Uh maybe it's a sign that I should not keep going how many think it's a sign rest assured I have more wink of Stella's nobody freak out oh right there right on top oh but I only have one more Okay, so if you've never gotten a Wink of Stella before, this is what you do. You unscrew this part, you pull off this black ring, then you screw this part back in, and then the key is to do the pinching, not all over your project, and just light pinches until that product works its way down. And I love using my Wink of Stella's for watercoloring because you have a lot of control over the brush once it gets down there. I tend to overdo it. See, there it goes. So I'll keep these that are empty and I'll just fill them with water and then I'll use them as water brushes. Okay. So I'm very carefully going to add some glitter to this so you can do some really simple stamping I'm gonna do all the green first and then you can add these little pops that really step up your project so you don't need to do this like I don't need to add the glitter I just like it and I think it's fun and because I added that textured embossing folder, it's actually really helping me to keep my Wink of Stella because this Wink of Stella, it will reactivate the ink on your project. 
So you want to be careful not to go outside the lines. And then I'll just wipe that green off. And then we will do, I'm going to go ahead and do the light pink, the flirty flamingo. And I'm just going like right to the edges. So be careful you don't go outside that circle. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then I'll clean that off and then I'll do this. Um, the Poppy Parade. So I feel pretty good about this color combo. I never would have picked these colors to go together, which is why I had to look up color combos that would look good with Old Olive because I'm not good with color. I'm not good picking those colors to go together, any colors to go together, really. The only colors I know to go together are like Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. Um, so I never would have picked this on my own, but I feel like it is really pretty. So then, okay, so see how you have that a little bit of that shimmer? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is add some of this linen thread that is Old Olive. And I wish that we had linen thread in every single color because I think it would be so pretty actually to do all three colors of linen thread to do this. But we'll just have to go with Old Olive because that's what we have. Okay, so I just took a whole bunch off, probably more than I need to, but. And then I'm gonna be careful not to touch the ink because I don't know if it will, if it's wet and it'll spread. So then we're gonna tie several pieces around this. And then we're gonna come up top here and then what I do is, so see how I have this piece here? I kind of hold that tight. Then I pull this piece here. I pull it pretty tight. I make it go over all of the thread and then I tuck it under. So I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna tuck it under all of the thread. So we'll pull it up. So now this piece is nice and tight, and then this piece is under all of the thread. And then we don't want it too tight. That's, I always kind of pull it too much. And then this way, I can just tie a bow, and I don't have to do a knot first, because everything's gonna stay where it should. And then I don't have that extra added bulk of that knot for the bow. Okay. So I'm gonna want this up top here. So I'm just going to adjust this and then tighten it. And then see, I did waste quite a bit of thread. It's kind of my MO. I end up wasting quite a bit when I do this. So we'll trim that. And then what I can do is I can feather these out if I want. I'm sort of impressed because I didn't get these too tight. A lot of times I end up like pulling my card stock. Okay, so now let's grab our card, what's gonna be our card base. And we'll fold this in half. Grab our bone, bone folder. Okay, now let's on the back of this, let's add some foam. So I am going to add some fun foam. And I just ordered some more double-sided adhesive sheets because those are retiring. So I'm a little bit sad about that because this fun foam situation has really been working for me. And I know we can get double-sided adhesive other places, but it was just nice that it was working. Okay, so we'll put this on here. And then let's just add a tiny bit of adhesive. Well, not a tiny bit, but let's add adhesive to the back of this. Okay. 
Okay, now we'll add this to the front here. Oh, dang it. I see that I had adhesive on my nail. Oh, I think I salvaged it. And you guys know what I did? I lost my little sand eraser. I don't know what happened to it. I'm wondering if it got thrown away by accident. Okay. So we're gonna press that down and now let's add our sentiment. So we'll take the circle and then we're gonna take the sentiment from this. I haven't used this stamp set yet and I love it. So what I do with my stamp sets, you guys, if you just watched my retiring stuff, you'll know why I do this. So I pull the back off this photopolymer and I stick it right here behind the sleeve. So I just stick it right here so it's saved. And then I just, that way I can press this down and my it'll stay. And then if I decide to keep this once it's retired, I pull this sheet out, I put it back on the back, and then I put my whole stamp set in a clear envelope and I get rid of the um, shell. So we're going to use this sentiment. So I will need a clear block, will this fit? Yeah. So, and we'll stamp in Poppy Parade right in the middle of this circle. I feel like that circle's really big. Like maybe I needed a smaller circle. And then I want it right under the bow. Like I want to be able to kind of turn my bow this way. Have it sit there but I also want it on foam. I feel like the um, glue happens. That's funny, Janice. Um, I feel like um, the circle's a little big. Okay, so then, and I know you guys are a little farther away than normal. I did my workshop with my membership group for my um, memory keeping, and so my my thing that I do my phone on is a little higher than normal. I feel like I don't want to cover up any of those circles now. I feel like I need one more circle and I'm wondering if, if this is going to work. This might ruin the whole project, but I can't not try it. Here's Flirty Flamingo. And I feel like I need one right here. Well, I don't feel like it ruined it. I feel like it's too close to that green one. And I totally would put another Poppy Parade one right here if this wasn't already on my project. Oh crap. I went outside the circle a little bit. This thing right here, Sherry, this pink thing, I got to wait a second. This is fun foam. So this is just foam. It's just a thin piece of foam. You can get it at Walmart. I usually just get white or black, but when I went to get fun foam, they were out and it um, I put a double-sided adhesive on it, so I just get our double-sided adhesive and I put it over the foam, and then I that's how I pop up my card. So it gives it a little dimension. Just like that. So that so you guys know I have to do one more thing. And then if you stick around, I'm gonna show some paper, some new paper out of the annual catalog. Let me find my X-Acto knife. I meant to do that at the beginning, but I was so ready to just get on here to create. 
you know we have to add a little bit of bling. So even though this was a really simple card design, you can see that it really, there's some really fun elements on here that really make it pop. So we're gonna put three there. And then three over here. And I feel, like, again, I feel like the circle's a little big. I feel like I overshot the size of the circle. So hopefully these rhinestones will help that situation. It's not th that it's better than dimensionals. You know, honestly, it's just a time saver for me. So instead of having to put a thousand dimensionals on the back of this, I can just put one piece of fun foam and I'm done. So it's kind of a time saver. And then I still use dimensionals. Like I would use dimensionals on the circle if I didn't have this sitting here already and a piece that was pretty good. Um, so it's kind of just, I use it kind of more as a time saver than anything, not necessarily better or worse. So there's the card. Simple but cute, I think. And the color combo, I think I actually ended up liking the color combo. I was not sure about it. So here's the color combo. So I'm, of course, going to have a PDF for you guys that you can print with photos of the project. I'll have that later today. Um, I have a retired mess of stuff that I got to clean up here. But let's look at some paper because I have a really exciting... Um, paper share to share with you guys this year. So every year out of the catalog, I do a paper share, which is a paper sampler. It means that you get a quarter pack of all of the designer papers from any of the new catalogs. So I do this every single catalog. Um, and it's so that you can get paper and see what you really like, because sometimes the catalog, most of the time, the catalog does not do it justice how pretty it is. Sometimes the color doesn't come through. So this way you can get a sample of all of the paper before you decide what you want to do. So this year I have a very exciting um, collaboration that's happening. Wendy Cranford and I have teamed up together to bring you an epic paper share. So what you get is 19 brand new papers from the catalog. So from the upcoming annual catalog, you will get 19 different brand new papers. And this is some of them. And then you will get 19 card kits to coordinate with your paper. So you're going to be able to get a card kit to go with every single set of designer paper and you will get to make cards with it right? So amazing. And the best part is, is we're offering a pajama party to go along with this. So you get to come create with us. You'll get a PDF, an exclusive PDF that will show photos of all of the cards along with measurements. So that is yours to keep so that you can continue to use those to make cards. We have two exclusive giveaways from the brand new catalog. They will be bundles of products. So it will be a stamp set plus either a punch or a die. I lost my little sleeve. Oh no. Okay. I'll set that aside. Um, in the pajama party, um, we'll be doing that. And then we have two exclusive all attendee giveaways, which means if you purchase the paper share, no matter how you purchase it, you will get the all attendee giveaway. Okay. So yet this year, just to get the paper share and the card kits, you will get that $79 and that's for 19 different papers. Okay. And then that includes the pajama party. It includes everything, but you're just going to be getting the paper share and the card kits and the pajama party which will be so fun. We're going to have a special guest stamper. Um, the uh, You're just not going to want to miss the pajama party, I promise you. So $79, you get all of that. We also have an option for you to get two brand new stamp sets out of the catalog that we will be using to do the card kits. You don't have to get that, um, but if you want to get it, um, they're brand new and you'll get a little bit of a discount when you purchase them through the bundle. So I'm going to leave a sign up right in the description of this. In fact, let me 
let me um, grab the link right now. So if anybody wants to sign up, you can sign up. Um, let me think how to do this on this device here. Um, it would be uh, right here. So I'm very excited about the, the stamp sets. We can't show you what the stamp sets are yet because we can't show it. We can't show inside the catalog and we don't actually have them yet, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I promise you guys they're amazing. So let me copy this. <laughs> okay, this is going to be funny. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come back to the live. And I'm going to leave it in the comments for right now. And then I'll see if you guys have made any comments. Okay. <laughs> And then we'll go back to looking at this paper. This is not all of them. I just, Wendy um, gave me a set to be able to share so that you guys could see some of them. And I'm gonna make some cards with these, of course, because the paper is gorgeous. I gotta play with it. Okay, so there's the link to sign up and then I'll put it also in the description. Um. So that if you want to sign up, you can. So the option to get the two additional, the two stamp sets on top of the paper share um, is $129. And you save a little bit on the stamp sets by doing that. But you can use any stamp sets to make the cards. You don't have to use the stamps that we're using. But if you want to make it exactly how we're making it, then you'll want to get the stamp sets. So there's that one. Sorry about that delay, you guys, as I was getting that link. I was trying to make sure I jumped on here really quickly because um, I was already running a few minutes late. This is the Mosaic. I don't know all the names of this paper because I'm not familiar with it all yet, but I know this is the Mosaic paper. And some of these have a really fun finish, like a, um, I don't know if you guys can see that in the light. I don't know what that's called um, off the top of my head but it's gorgeous. I didn't know if I was gonna like this paper when I was seeing it in the photos, but once I saw it in person, I really liked it. And I like the colors of it. So pretty, right? Okay, so that's the mosaic. And then when you get the card kits, you'll be able to use your paper to make cards, which that's one of the reasons that we um, had this idea to do this was because oftentimes we get the paper share, right? You get the paper share, you get it, you look through it, but then you don't use the paper share. Um, you buy the paper, you decide what you like, and then you end up having this paper share left with all this paper that you didn't use. So we thought what better way to help you guys than to design card kits that go along with um, the paper that we're, that you're getting. So there's that. This is, I think the, it goes with the Peacock Suite. This one is one I wasn't sure about and I saw it in person. I was like, oh, there's actually a lot you could do with it. Then there's this one. And this has old olive in it. The blue, this goes with a suite of product. Kind of vintagey looking. And then hopefully I'm not missing any of your guys' comments. And that really pretty, right? It would be really great for masculine cards. Sometimes I see this paper and I think about 12 by 12 layouts. That will be good. That will be fun to do. So this is going to be a big hit. This is the Magnolia paper. And I already know that it's going to be a huge hit. I think these are out of order. Yeah. Let me see if I can get them in order. Let's see. There's that one. There it is. I was looking through this paper. This is the only one that I like immediately had to look through because it's gorgeous. 
thin. There's this piece. I've probably seen lots of projects with this piece because it's, I think, like one of the most popular pieces. And then the stripes. This, I love this striped piece here. So there's that. And then let's find that striped piece. This piece right here. I think this is going to make some really beautiful 12 by 12 layouts. Then there's this sheet here and this one. And then this one. I feel like this catalog has a little bit of an old school feel, like a little bit of a throwback to some of the older papers we had and some older stamp sets, like the style. So then there's that. Is that the same? Oh, this is the same. <laughs> so I love the paper, you guys. So if you're interested, you're going to want to sign up to get on the list to get the paper share. Invoices don't go out until um, May 27th. So right now you're just signing up and then invoices will go out on May 27th and our pajama party is at the end of June. And we will be sharing the stamp sets that we're using um, in the next couple weeks. As soon as we finalize everything, um, we'll be doing that. So I hope that you guys loved making this card. This one was a simple one, but a fun one. And I hope you will consider signing up to do the paper share. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to crafting with you guys. And we have a special guest stamper that will be stamping with us. And um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun night to hang out and um, stamp together and put all of this beautiful paper to use, right? That's what we want to do is use up this stuff so we can buy more. <laughs> right? So I hope you guys are having a fabulous Friday. I'm going to get a PDF done for you guys and get that out for you. And then I'm also going to upload this to YouTube. So um, if you're on YouTube, all of the links are in the description if you missed any. And then make sure you comment and share this video because I do have a giveaway. I'm just not going to tell you guys what it is. <laughs> I'll pick something. I have lots of things that I've given away. If you didn't catch my retired product um, walk through. Um, I gave lots of stuff away in there and you still have a chance. If you comment on that video as well, you'll still have a chance to enter to do those giveaways as well. I'm going to upload both these to YouTube. If you're catching them on YouTube between Friday and Monday, comment and I will be picking winners um, to send out some goodies. So I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will talk to you guys later.